Since my video game botting tutorial where we used Pyota GUI, I've had several people mention to me that Pyota GUI doesn't work for certain video games. So in this video, I want to talk about why it doesn't work and how you can fix it. I'm Ben, and this is Loon Code by Gaming. So why doesn't Pyota GUI work with some video games? On Windows, Pyota GUI uses a slightly older, slightly deprecated API to simulate mouse and keyboard inputs. And normally this is fine, but when you're interacting with programs that make heavy use of DirectX, like a lot of 3D video games do, then you can run into problems. If you don't know what DirectX is, it's a collection of libraries written by Microsoft to make video game development easier. And it's been super successful, and it's basically why Windows dominates PC gaming. One of the subsets of DirectX is Direct Input. And Direct Input is basically a easier and more powerful interface for developers to use when they're dealing with user input for their game. And a lot of times, game developers will choose to only support Direct Input because it's less development for them and players are likely to never notice. So to solve the problem we have, we need to get Pyota GUI to use the Direct Input Windows APIs instead of what it's currently using. So I've written a Python package that does exactly that, and I've called it PyDirectInput. So to use PyDirectInput, you just pip install it, uh, pip install PyDirectInput, just like you would with Pyota GUI. And just to get exact about what Pyota GUI does wrong and how my library fixes it, let me read to you the opening paragraph from my readme, and then I'll show you how to use it in practice. OK, so I have PyDirectInput hosted on GitHub. And in the readme, it says, this library aims to replicate the functionality of the Pyota GUI mouse and keyboard inputs, but by utilizing direct input scan codes and the more modern send input Win32 function. Pyota GUI uses virtual key codes and the deprecated mouse event and keyboard event Win32 functions. You may find that Pyota GUI does not work in some applications, particularly in video games and other software that relies on DirectX. If you find yourself in this situation, give this library a try. OK, so here I've written a really simple Pyota GUI script. It's just going to press a couple keys on the keyboard. It's going to move the mouse and attempt a click. And I'm going to show you this running with Half-Life 2 to show that it doesn't work with Pyota GUI. All right, so let's try this simple Pyota GUI code in Half-Life 2. And we're pressing the W key and then the D key to go forward and strafe right. Uh, and then we should be looking slightly to the right. And we click once to throw whatever object we're holding. And so you can see here that the keyboard inputs didn't work, uh, but the mouse inputs were working correctly. And you may find other games where the Pyota GUI mouse inputs don't work either, so I've also updated those to work with direct input. So to update the code we have with Pyota GUI to use direct input instead, all I'm going to do is I'm going to import py direct input. And if you don't already have that installed, you can just pip install py direct input. And then any place where it says Pyota GUI, I'm just going to replace that with direct input. So I'll go to edit, replace, find Pyota GUI, replace it with py direct input, replace all. Let's fix that first input though. And now when we run this program, it'll be using the direct input scan codes instead. All right, so now let's see this code working with PyDirect input. So now we are moving forward and strafing to the right. And the uh, mouse inputs continue to work as well. And if you're interested in looking at the source code for what makes PyDirect input different from Pyota GUI, uh, you'll want to go over to PyDirect input on GitHub. And then just go into this init file. This is where all the source code is. You can see in here, I actually have scan code values for all of the mouse actions, and then also all of the keyboard inputs. And then when I use those scan code hex values, I'm actually calling the send input Windows function. Uh, that comes from way up at the top uh, from the Windows 32 library. It's just called send input. You can contrast this to Powder GUI if you go to their source code. Uh, you'll want to go down to the Powder GUI Windows code. You'll see that their keyboard mappings are different. They're actually using these VK codes. And then you can see in their key down method, for instance, they're actually using those codes along with the keyboard event uh, Windows 32 API function. And then in comparing the mouse functions in PyAuto GUI, they're using these same codes that you'll see in PyDirect input, uh, but they're passing it over to this mouse event API versus in PyDirect input, 
the mouse down function is still using the uh, send input Windows API. So that's what makes my library work with direct input. Now I haven't implemented every feature from PyAuto GUI in PyDirect input, so you should probably use them in tandem. So in the readme, you can see the features I haven't implemented yet. Um, so the scroll functions, you know, the mouse scroll wheel, I haven't done uh, any mouse drag functions, hotkey functions, um, any character where you have to press the shift key, I haven't implemented that. And then a few of the parameters on the mouse and the keyboard functions, I'm just ignoring whatever you give me. Uh, the big one is on the mouse functions, I'm ignoring duration. So your mouse cursor is just going to jump directly to whatever coordinates you give it. It's not going to move slowly across the screen. I also haven't implemented any of the screenshotting or image recognition features. So if you do need any of these missing features, uh, this is a great time to get involved in an open source project. Send me a pull request if you get any of these features working, or I'm happy to help you out if you need some help getting started with this. If you've never contributed to open source before, this should be a pretty friendly way to get into it because you have all the PyOta GUI source code to look at. You also have my completed code to reference. So it should just mostly be copy and paste, fill in the blank type of work, and then of course the testing. So that's all I've got for this one. Let me know if PyDirect input works for you or if you have any trouble with it, and I'll see you next time.